Welcome to the Divine Canine Channel. Welcome to the Divine Canine Channel, where we're talking all things crypto, from NFTs and the metaverse, projects we're currently working on, and we'll even discuss a little bit of God's Word in the Bible. So let's jump right in and get started. 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 All right, let's dive right in. So we're reading Matthew 11. So it says, John the Baptist sends messengers to Jesus. Now it came to pass when Jesus finished commending, commanding his 12 disciples that he departed from there to teach and to preach in their cities. And when John had heard in prison about the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples and said to him, are you the coming one or do we look for another? Uh, John's disciples asked Jesus. Jesus answered and said to them, Go and tell John the things which you hear and see. The blind see, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear, the dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. It's kind of like what we're trying to do. We're trying to get Bibles people all over the nation through our NFTs. And blessed is he who is not offended because of me. Guys, we can't be afraid of, of being made brand new and if everybody else was made brand new again there'd be there, we wouldn't we wouldn't feel any kind of way anyway because they would be they'd feel the exact way we feel about jesus they just don't know it yet we have to tell them and then there'll be disciples as well so it says as they departed jesus began to say to the multitudes concerning john what did you go out into the wilderness to see a reed shaken by the wind but what did you go out to see? A man clothed in soft garments? Indeed, those who wear soft clothing are in king's houses. But what did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I say unto you, and more than a prophet. For this is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before your face, who will prepare your way before you. So Jesus prepares our way to God. He says, the only way to God is through me. Assuredly, I say to you, among those born of women, there has not risen one greater than John the Baptist. But he who is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. And from the day of, days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. And if you are willing to receive it, all you have to do is be willing. He is Elijah who is to come. And who, he who has ears to hear, let him hear. But to what shall I liken this generation? It is like children sitting in the marketplaces and calling to their companions and saying, We played the flute for you, and you did not dance. We mourned to you, and you did not lament. Beat your breast. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say, He is a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, Look, a glutton and a wine-bibber, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is justified by her children. It's justified by her works, I could say. Woe to the impenitent cities. Then he began to rebuke the cities in which most of his mighty works had been done, because they did not repent. Woe to you! Chorazin, woe to you, Bethsaida, for if the mighty works which were done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. But I say to you, it will be more toler tolerable for Tyre and Sidon in the day of judgment than for you. And you, Capernaum, who are exalted, you will be exalted to heaven, no, you will be, are exalted to heaven, will be brought down to Hades. For if the mighty works which were done in you had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. He's basically com comparing like the very evil parts of the, the cities back in the day. And he's like, even if they saw the works I did now, they would ask for forgiveness. But you, my chosen people, you look at me and think I'm foreign. You don't even believe what I say. What is wrong with you guys? You're going to suffer condemnation for not believing in me. I'm Jesus. I'm the Lord. That's basically what he's saying. But I say to you that it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for you. Jesus gives true rest. At that time, Jesus answered and said, I thank you, Father, 
Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and the prudent and revealed them to babes. Basically, the wise and the prudent are like the kings and the Pharisees and the Sadducees and all the people of stature back in the day that were all Jewish. And he hid all of these things from them because they walked in their pridefulness and didn't really care. They just wanted to have a seat at the table. But he revealed them to babes, the homeless, the Gentiles, those who had nothing in this world. God revealed himself to us. So even so, Father, for it so seemed good in your sight. All things have been delivered to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father. Nor does anyone know the Father except the Son, and the one to whom the Son wills to reveal him. So they work in unison. So the Father and the Son and the Son and the Father work together. Come to me, all you who, are, all you who labor, who work hard, and are heavy laden and are tired, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. We have to act like Jesus and learn from Jesus every day. For I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Light, guys. It's a really good passage. Whenever you're having a hard day, just read Matthew 11, chapter 28, or verse 28, all the way down to 30. His burden is light, guys. That's what we have to depend on. Cool. Well, let's go to reading for celebrating Advent. It says Malachi through... No, we read this yesterday. Let's go to the next day. We're doing good, guys. Cool. Isaiah 40, 11. He will feed his flock like a shepherd... He will gather the lambs with his arm. Imagine like a big arm carrying all of us into heaven. And carry them in his bosom. And gently lead those who are with young. If there's anybody pregnant out there, he's doing his best <laughs> to lead y'all. I know my wife's pregnant. And we already have two, so God bless her heart. Alright, let's go to the verse of the day. The verse of the day. Let's see what we got. It says Luke 2, 11 through 14. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling cloths, lying in a manger. And suddenly there are with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will towards men. Awesome, guys. If you enjoyed this reading and you want some more, or if you want to deep dive into topics and uh, have any questions or comments, leave them below and reach out to us on the social media. And don't be afraid to get your divine canine NFT that has God's word and the Bible. Well, awesome guys, we appreciate you. We hope you have a good Christmas and we'll check, we'll check with you guys afterwards. Later. Hello everybody, this is Roman with Divine K9 NFTs, and you can now mint your first K9 NFT. All you have to do is go to DivineK9NFT.com. It will look like this. You go down, you hit where it says mint right here, and you click that, and it should pull up your phantom wallet. Now if you don't have a phantom wallet, I made a video on Divine K9 underscore NFT, and it says how to use phantom wallets for NFTs. I suggest you watch that wallet. It does a quick rundown on how you can go through that. And you could also look at some of my other videos that we have posted lately. Some of them are about um, the metaverse and different coins for crypto. And then some of them are just daily read alongs. Um, so that's something I want you guys to hang to check out. But right now we have 1,890 NFTs available. And just a little bit about who we are. So we are working on getting our dogs as followers in the metaverse. But in the meantime, hang them up on your wall as a picture. We're also giving away a percentage of the NFT sale to help missionaries who are doing God's work and Bible t Bibles to those in need. So they can receive salvation, which is why we need your help minting these NFTs. We believe we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. Philippians 4.13. And that's what we plan on doing. 
Each divine canine NFT includes a Bible passage in the metadata as a steady reminder of his love for us all. You might say, what does that mean, the metadata? Well, let's take a look. If this is my Phantom Wallet. If you go to my collectibles, I'll click on Divine Canine, the first one ever minted. Um, it has the properties, so it has different background skins, jewelry, hats, accessories, the mouth, and then the verse. So it has Genesis 1.1. And when this goes into your, your Solana wallet, it's actually minted into the blockchain of Solana, into the internet of crypto. Um, and so when the metaverse starts to become a thing, we'll be able to use our dogs into the metaverse, as you'll see in some of my other videos when we play in the metaverse. Um, so I have God's word in it and its DNA. This is the properties as the DNA of the dog and the Bible passage passage is in the DNA. So that's what we mean. Um, it says each includes a Bible passage in the metadata as a steady reminder of his love for us all. Jesus says that heaven and earth shall pass away, but his words will last forever. Luke 21, 33. Your divine canine, having God's word and its DNA, will be a testament of your faith as well as a unique addition to your NFT collection. We will both be rewarded in heaven for what we do on earth. And if we can save one life, we will have done God's will, and he will bless us for blessing others. This project is about using God's word to build a community of God-loving crypto enthusiasts, but it's only the beginning of what we can do together. And then it has our roadmap and some of the stuff we, we plan on doing in, in phases, um, as well as trying to buy land for our NFTs and giving Bibles away through Bible League, and then kind of just like giveaways and whatnot and building four dimensional or three dimensional avatars of our dogs for you guys to use in the future. We have some shirts and some hoodies. Um, you could click on it and it'll open up where you can go ahead and buy some of this stuff, which I think is pretty cool. If you wanted to, if you want to go ahead and, and buy some swag, you could pick out some different colors and whatnot. And um, it has the other pro uh, products as well. Or you could just go ahead and donate to us and message us, say, hey, look, I donated some money. Can you give Bibles away that way? Um, all of it's cool, and all of it we'll be more than happy to work with together. Again, that's divinek9nft.com. And where we're sending the Bibles is BibleLeague.organization if you want to look into them. Um, their verse of the day is, Here is my servant, the one I support. He is the one I have chosen, and I am very pleased with him. I have fulfilled him with my spirit, and he will bring justice to the nations. And it says, Send someone their first Bible this Christmas. Give the gift of the gospel this holiday season. And then you can read more about them. And you can see their global impact that they've had. Um, Bibles and biblical resources provided. Um... 941 million Bibles and biblical resources provided, and we want to add about 1,800. We're going to send away about 1,800 Bibles to people in need. Um, and they also train to share God's word, so they've made ministers and pastors and whatnot, so about 4 million. And they've planted about 76,000 churches worldwide. And so that's kind of what we plan on doing with our NFTs, is just spreading the gospel and, and doing God's will. Um, you're basically paying for a Bible. But you get an NFT in return, and we'll take the money, put it in the Bible League, and I'll make a video showing us doing all of that so there's proof. But that's what we're doing, guys. We made NFTs with God's Word in it so we could bring it into the metadata, and we're also using some of the money from the NFT Mint to bring it to other people across the world who might not be as fortunate as we are. That's our goal. That's our plan. And that's what we're doing at DivineK9NFT.com. So... If you have any questions, hit us up on YouTube, check out some of our stuff, hit us up on um, Instagram and Twitter, and you'll have a lot more information about what we're doing. Awesome. We appreciate it.